Hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis. How do you train militaries, governments, and organizations for the unique operations required in the aftermath of a natural disaster? Disaster Sim, a web-enabled game, is a simulation-based training tool designed to teach personnel how the U.S. military operates as part of a broader U.S. government response to an overseas natural disaster. Through a strategy game interface, trainees assume the role of a joint task force staff and are taught how to coordinate with various key organizations and stakeholders, principally USAID's Office of Foreign Disaster Assistance, or OFDA. This is Vicky Olivia from the Red Cross. We need transport so we can get medical care to people right away. Why wasn't Sector C made a priority? We're not attacked. The host nation can't do this on their own. OFTA takes the lead in overseas humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions. Disaster Sim reinforces this concept to trainees who must also contend with requests from non-governmental organizations, the host nation, the United Nations, and their own joint task force commander. To respond to requests, the trainee uses the Mission Tasking Matrix, or MITAM, to employ a range of DOD units for missions ranging from site surveys to bridge repairs. Hundreds, maybe thousands, have been We need supplies for fuel for deploying. Water filters and iodine have been spreading. It's getting scary now. All hands on deck for this one. Through compelling gameplay, Disaster Sim teaches the trainee how to deconflict competing requests for assistance and how to coordinate and communicate effectively with the various organizations outside of the traditional military chain of command. True to the nuanced realities of real-world relief responses, the trainee's decisions will impact the entire operation. Trainees will also learn that the military is not the only resource, that in fact, they are not the lead agency for the U.S. government response and that there are other resources at their disposal. They will learn that DOD involvement in disaster relief occurs in only very specialized circumstances. One key lesson is helping trainees understand what success looks like in these missions, which in many cases means the DOD returning home because their capabilities are no longer needed. That supply drop off saved lives. Thank you. We need an aerial recon of Sector work. B immediately. Let's see if our efforts paid off. Based on real-world international humanitarian responses, Disaster Sim uses real maps, real data, and provides real-time feedback. The application suite also includes an authoring tool for creating custom scenarios and situations. Coordination, communication, MITAM management. This experience prepares disaster relief personnel for an operation that is anything but a game. Disaster Sim.